Hi guys, welcome back to another fantasy football video. We're back again, another week has passed. A bit late on the fantasy football video this week, sorry about that. It was a, obviously a bit of a longer week of Monday night game with Arsenal happening, um, so I couldn't really get one out on Monday, so I'll have to wait a bit longer. Got out today on Thursday. Um, the reviews and previews episode will be coming out tomorrow, but I'll record it the same day today, so... I'll be coming up tomorrow before the Friday night game again, which is Arsenal. So anyway, into fantasy football and interesting weeks. Um, 88 points in GG Magpie, good little return. in the Gunner for Glory's had a bad week though, only 60 points or all. So um, we'll go into the world. Some first two did well, Van Dyke got points, Diaz didn't start, Sanchez got points, Regulon got points. I put my captains on people, Ronaldo, Smith, right and St. Max, and they all got two points and did nothing. Um, Vardy had another goal, so that was good. Aspilicata got me a few points. I transferred him in for Rudiger because he was injured midweek, I think, or something for Germany. So he had to um, yeah, I had to get him out for Aspilicata. So that was a bit of a meh switch. So you know, hopefully, it's going to be quite interesting because Chelsea have got some very easy fixtures. They got Norwich. Newcastle and Burnley, all the teams in the bottom three at the minute. So they're not going to start the strongest team, are they? They're probably going to start like Chalabar and Malang Sar again, who are going to get like easy minutes. But I'm just hoping that Aspiral quite starts really because that would be good. Um, yeah, this team had a bad week. It's, it was about 10,000th a couple of weeks ago, it's back down 17,000th. Um, it could have been better this week, but you know, we move on. I'm just going to leave it, I think. I'm just leaving this one. It's, just, it's almost like an experiment to see which players are doing well and which players I could get in. As in, like, at the minute, Vardy's doing quite well. He's getting quite a few goals. His points return are doing quite well. Seven points every game at the minute. Doing pretty good. Anyway, on to um, GG Magpie. And this one did very well this week. It was going very, on the Saturday. I was doing very well. I was in, like, the top 2,000 at one point. Because uh, Salah, Tielemans, Trent, Cancelo, Mendy, uh, all those lot did well. But then on Saturday, on Sunday, I went horribly. Only four points because Antonio got booked. Um, what else happened? Um, and then on Monday, Tierney got a yellow, uh, not a yellow, conceded two goals. So that didn't go well. So I was I was on like um, eighty two points off like the, of the one day and I managed to get six points out of three players which is absolutely shocking really so you know, that didn't go so well for me but it was still a good week I rised about two or three hundred positions overall could have been better obviously but you know you can't win everything the problem was Conor Gallagher was my problem Conor Gallagher got so many points and I couldn't like do anything about it really I don't have him in I didn't really want to transfer him because I already had Tierney captain as a bit of cover. Um, but as you can see, Tielemans there. That could be a problem. Got injured in the Europa League the other day. So that's not good. Um, that to come off actually. So hopefully he's not too bad. In terms of who got most points last week. Um, Mendy was up there as the goalie. Oh god, I'm going to sneeze a minute. <laughs> Um, anyway, on to next week, and, like, there's a few, obviously, on Friday, it's the Arsenal Villa game, I've got Tierney and Smith, bro. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Oh, uh, Arsenal obviously got the captain day on Fridays, so, and the Monday, so I had to get an Arsenal player in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, anyway, on the Saturday, I'm looking at getting Tierney out into a Chelsea defender who starts, because I can obviously see the lineups. But it'd have to be somebody under 8.7 mil because I've only got 0.2 of them in the back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, my God. Um, in terms of, I'm not really looking to captain anybody else other than a Chelsea player at the minute. It's on Monday on Saturday, but it could go to the defender for Chelsea, obviously. God, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm not sure what to do, though, because it, it could be a waste of time. Because if I transfer in that Chelsea defender, unless it's somebody like Christiansen, who I hope does start, it could be a bit of a waste of time. Uh, but I think it's worth it, really, because... <coughs> oh, there we go. Oh, God. That was brewing, that one. Oh, God. Um, yeah, as I said, I think it's not. it might not be worth it, but they will get the clean sheets against, the Nor against Norwich when they start. Hopefully they don't get injured, obviously. And then 
they do have Newcastle and Burnley to come, so that's going to be probably easy clean sheets for them, really. You you might, if you get two out of three clean sheets out of that, you wouldn't be surprised. If you get three, you would definitely wouldn't be surprised. You expect them to keep at least two, though. Um, in terms of Tielemans, what I could do with him, if he doesn't start on Sunday, I could... I don't know, it depends how bad he is. If he's out for a couple of weeks, I might have to transfer him out, but... Depends what Brendan Rodgers says, really. If he says he's absolutely done for and out for a few weeks, he might get swapped out. But I can, I want to get a Chelsea manager, so I can't. Re- I've got if I take him out, I'd have to put in a midfielder, and there's not many midfielders to have at the minute. I could look to Conor Gallagher. That was one of my options, I think. But yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Who else is um, on the Sunday? Let's have a look. I've already got West Ham. I could get a Spurs player, Hoiberg, possibly. He could be alright. Um, what about Brentford? And Buemo, he's pretty good. As you can see here, let's have a look at Buemo. He's pretty good. He's been playing well. If Brentford says they've got one goalie, they probably have more than that. Um, he's a midfielder as well, so he's very, uh, he's, he's very good price-wise. It's just two points, two points, two points. Yeah, it's, it's not the best, is it? But it's not bad. Um, Sergio Collins actually got more points than that's a bit of a surprise. Um, what about a Tottenham player? Can we have a look at one of them? Hoiberg's probably the only one I'd be lord to because he is good for. He does start. He'll start every game. He'll get good passes and tackles against the lower teams. He obviously won't get many against like. He probably won't get many against West Ham or Man United or Everton. You won't get many passes, but against the likes of like Leeds and Burnley and Norwich and Brighton and like that, he'll probably get a few passes done. So he's good for that range. He's, he's he can come up with a few goals every now and again as well. I mean, obviously Ronaldo isn't working at the minute, and I'm could be looking at getting him out as well. So that could be one of my plans. Um, so Ronaldo's not looking too good at the minute. Obviously he's. Last three games he's done nothing, but I'm gonna stick with him for a what for a bit because I'm a, I'm gonna try and get through this fixed run with him, and I might I might pass him off in a couple of weeks, but you never know. Um, in terms of what happened last week, is the leagues is the overall leaderboard on two thousand nine hundred and seventeen thousand respectively. Um, last week I got all right in that one. So many goals. Oh god, he got a lot of points, didn't he? Jesus! If you have Conor Gallagher, you're doing well because he's he's getting loads of man of the match awards. I mean, his fixtures are good as well. He'd probably be the one to come in for Tielemans if he was injured. But I wouldn't just do it on a on a on a reel because I might as well. There's not a lot of point really, but you know. Um, let's have a look at where I am in the leagues. No, the leagues. Um, Sky Sports, you don't worry about that. I accidentally joined that. 77th, that is pretty good. Not too bad. I had a look. The last couple of seasons I've been doing fantasy football, I've come... I think I was 81st in the... Uh, Newcastle United League, and I think I was about 3,000th overall, so I did very well. So I was pretty good. Um, he's winning this at the minute. Awesome. Ooh. What made Nenny tree? Yeah, I see. He's got Ronaldo out. That's, the, that's why... He's got Bamiang in, that was a good choice. Um, yeah, these people are doing quite well already, aren't they? Um, yeah, hopefully hopefully I'll have another good week though. I'm looking at I'm looking at it and I think yeah, if we can just get around 70, 80 points plus every week, I'll be keeping my position. And I'm in terms I just want to beat what I've my best, which was about eight, as I said, about eightieth in the little Newcastle United League. Um top fives I mean, for me, I got the hat trick last week. I've gone and got a goal and clean sheet again. God, what did he do? Got man of the match somehow, even though they lost. Uh, Chilwell did well last week again, got the goal and clean sheet. Also, Salah, obviously. Salah's absolutely miles could ever everyone else. I'm obviously worried about Cancelo if he doesn't start. It's bright, and that will lose me a couple of points, but you know, you got to live and learn with that. Everyone's in the same boat if they've got him. Uh, Salah's just weekly captain overall, every time. Rodgers getting transferred out, Mendy getting transferred in. Um, Salah's still getting transferred in. 
Ronaldo's getting fronts for that as well at the minute. Um, obviously, Lukaku got injured last night. He'll be out for a while, so he'll be getting transferred out uh, on most of the teams. So that will be bad for them. But I think that could open up a door for Salah and Kane. I'm I'm really thinking on, on Kane at the minute. I could honestly get him in either team at the minute. I'm thinking Ronaldo out in that team. I could get Kane in or just Salah just to make that team even better. In this team, I could get Ronaldo out, get Kane in. Um, oh, it's just, it's just. Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? I, I'm not sure. I want to at the minute. I might do it after them. I don't know. I don't know really. When does? No, uh, they've got. When did Tottenham play then? Do they? Yeah, they will cross over. So that that could be a day after the Manchester derby. I could get him out for that day but you know we'll see what happens in the future anyway that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed and yeah hopefully get some more points this week hopefully keep climbing the ranks and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye bye bye